What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are back today playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the rank ladder. You guys are no deal, but with this time, we have ourselves a Sniper Drapion team. We're going to be showing it off in today's video and trying to get some wins. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. This team is a Trick Room team right here, rocking out with Porygon2 and Hatterene, both Pokemon who can actually uh, send out that Trick Room, which is nice, especially Porygon2. This thing is an absolute beast. If you guys have been playing rank battles since the new Olive Armor came out. Porygon 2 has been an awesome Trick Room Pokemon. This Porygon 2 has the Evo Light, obviously. T-Bolt, Ally Switch, Trick Room, and Recover to keep that HP up. Like I said, we also have Hatterene who can use Trick Room, or it can also be a nice big damage dealer with Protect, Expanding Force, Dazzling Gleam, and that big old Life Orb. We also got Torkoal because you cannot have a Trick Room team without the slowest turtle out there. We got Drought and Charcoal as an item. Eruption, Heat Wave, Protecting Yawn. I really do love this moveset because we are not choosing anything. We don't have a choice item. We can go for an Eruption, we can go for a Heat Wave, we can protect ourselves, or we can just yawn and make Pokemon go to sleep, which I absolutely love. We got two new Pokemon who I haven't even played before with Lilligant and Drapion. We'll get to them in a second, but we also have Urshfu with Assault Vest and Unseen Fist, the Fighting and Water one with Ice Punch, Close Combat for Stab, Surging Strikes for Stab, and three crits in a row, and Aerial Ace for coverage. Final two spots, starting off with Lilligant. Lilligant has Focus Sash, Chlorophyll, so it doubles the speed in the sun. That's why Torkoal's pairing really, really well with it. With Leaf Storm, Sleep Powder, Protect, and After You. I think I'm going to love this Lilligant. Like, dude, Sleep Powder Pokemon, they are so good. They're so annoying when you're playing up against them, but when you're using them, you absolutely love them, and I feel like this Pokemon is going to do that exact thing. And then in the final spot, we got Sniper Drapion right here. Sniper will boost its crit ratio. Scope Blends will actually boost it as well, so this thing is going to be critting out the bun, yo. We got Protect, Night Slash, Cross Poison, both stab moves, which is nice slash and cross poison and taunt over here if we want to taunt trick room Pokemon or other Pokemon such as like Tailwind, all that good stuff. We can do that with this Drapion. But if you guys want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. We went 0-2 in the last video, so let's hop into these battles and start getting some wins. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has Mimikyu, Arcanine, Gudra, Frostmoth, dude. Frostmoth is an absolute beast. I can't believe I haven't shown him off yet. I don't think I played a Frostmoth team yet, but I always get whooped on by him. Maybe we, we should make that happen soon. He also has Storm Drink, Gastron, and that Grassy Surge Roboom. I gotta worry about the Mimikyu, because that's his only, like, Trick Room counter. But I'm definitely gonna be trying to get it off right here. Actually, wait a minute. Let me check out the speeds of, like, Drapion, Logant, and, uh, Urshifu. I kinda wanna see their speeds real quick. So, 147, not bad. Logant's fast as well. And, uh, same thing with Urshifu. So I could, we could not go Trick Room here. Like, we don't have to. We really don't have to. It seems rather slow. So I'm thinking of maybe just not even doing it. Maybe going Lilligant in the Torkoal and rolling out from there, putting somebody to sleep and go, going ham. Let's do that, yo. Let's get after that. You know, Lilligant, Torkoal, Drapion, and Urshifu. I think that's the play. I think that is the play because I think he's going to lead Mimikyu. Trying to set up Trick Room and all that, and we can just get after it. But still, Mimikyu is still an absolute beast, even if it's not countering Trick Rooms. You guys already know it has a disguise. It can do a massive amount of damage. It's just ridiculous. But, yo, I know, like, you guys know how I do alternating uploads with the Paper Mario right now Pokemon. And this will be a double upload for Pokemon. Yo, I had some trouble with the Paper Mario. I recorded it, and it didn't, my microphone wasn't registered. It switched out what output device I was using. And I recorded for 45 minutes, playing all that good stuff, just for the video not to have my voice in it so i was like dude that is so whack so we took a step back we're gonna record some pokemon and then we're gonna get back into paper mario tomorrow but we're gonna keep rolling here we got logan and twerkle um i don't think i go for an eruption i think i just drop a heat wave i don't think i'm gonna be at full health and then i could sleep powder somebody uh do i sleep powder the frost moth or the mimikyu who do i really want to go here i don't want to sleep powder this frost moth he's kind of more annoying than the uh, mimikyu so let's see what happens here Let's just see what happens. We're gonna throw that thing to sleep. We got chlorophyll, so we will be double speed. Show me that is the frost moth going up. Show me that's big boy frost moth right here. Show it to me. Show it to me. Come on. He goes big boy frost moth. Hopefully we can put this thing to sleep. I don't think it has any abilities or any way of not going to sleep here. Let's see what happens here. Yo, this thing making some crazy noises. He's making some crazy noises. Well, get that sleep powder off. You go first. Oh, this thing's shadow sneak. I was wondering. I was wondering what is going on. This thing's gonna shadow sneak right here. I was totally curious to what is going on, and we see that it is Life Orb as well. Sleep Powder comes out. We connect it over here onto that Frost Wall. Night, night. It's beautiful. Don't be having a Lumberry. I'll be kind of mad. No, be fast asleep. And now, oh, dude, Eruption could have did some big old damage. Heat Wave comes out here. Does some wonderful damage. It takes off the Disguise there, and we actually uh, take off a big chunk of Frost Moss damage right there. So, big sleep coming out from Lilliganth here, and I can save my uh, Dynamax for Drapion or Urshifu, whichever one I really want to go for. Um, and then from here, I think I just pop an eruption. 
I think I just pop an eruption and I get straight after. Do I get protect? Mm, I could sleep. If he does swap out the Mimikyu. Or I could go after you. Oh, yeah, I could definitely do that. Just pick up the double kill real quick. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's go with the after you. Let's get after it, baby. After you comes out here. Yo, you going first, yo. You going first. Let's get it, yo. After you comes out here. Torquil goes for an eruption. Built. Double kill? Double kill, yo. Let's get it, yo. Jeans is playing good. Jeans is on it right now. I'm feeling good today. I knew it, yo. I was driving home. I came back from the beach today and all that good stuff. And I was just in my mind. I was like, yo, I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm going to be playing some good Pokemon today. And uh, so far, we started off pretty good. But no time to max for him. And we made him quit, yo. Let's get it. What a start for today's video. Let's hop into our second battle. Made this dude turn off the switch and see if we can go 2-0. He couldn't handle it. He could not handle the after you Torkoal plays, yo. It just murked on him, made him turn off his switch, probably punched a hole in the wall, and threw his controller out. Something along those lines, I believe that happened. But second battle here, this guy has a ridiculously strong Sun Team right here with nine tails. Leafeon, Charizard, Chandelure to actually counter trick him. So he's probably going to lead Chandelure. Like, I don't think I see, like, I 100% see him going Chandelure, which I might actually lead uh, Urshifu. I might go Urshifu here and just uh, surge and strike that, take it out. And see how it goes from there. And then he has Lycanroc and Heliolisk. I think I might go Urshifu so I can uh, go with Surgeon Strikes and roll out from there. Um, hmm. Who else do I go? I gotta lead a Trick Room Pokemon. Act like I'm going for a Trick Room. Maybe go Hatterene here. And then potentially Protect turn one. That could work. Let's go Urshifu there. Uh, I definitely want to bring Drapion though. Hmm. Gotta bring Torkoal and Drapion? Torkoal Drapes? Hmm. Because his only counter Trick Room is gonna be that Shannon and if I just go with uh, Surgeon Strikes, I should be able to dump on it. A lot of these Pokemon are special attacking. But that Soul Fest is definitely going to help us out. Besides, obviously, the Lycanroc and the Leafeon. But is he going to lead Leafeon? That's the real question. I, think we, I, I definitely want to bring uh, Drapion here because I want to show him off. I definitely want to show off Drapion in one of these battles, at least. We have to show off Lil Gang. Lil Gang just owned it. He owned it. Sleep Powder and Air Fuse. That's all I had to do. And it was, it was game over. Torkoal's doing the big damage in the drought, which is GG. But let's see what happens here. Let's see. Like I said, dude, I think the channel is coming out here. It's like it's got it. Like we are just like a heavy trick room team, and that is his only way. He's gonna pop out there, imprison it, and I'm gonna get after him. Let's see what he goes for. Chandel. Yep, Chandel pop comes out. Pretty simple, pretty obviously play here. Um, I probably should have went up Porygon. I think I should have went Porygon here. Instead of uh Instead of what's it called? Instead of Hatterene. Because Porygon would be able to eat up more shots. Um hmm. Do I actually just Dynamax this thing? No, I'd rather go Surgeon Strikes and get after this. Do that. And do I protect here? I don't think I protect. I think he's just going to imprison, so there's no uh, point of uh, even going for it. Hmm. Or do I just trick him? Just go for it. But she's going to go last. And if we take out Chandelure here, maybe we can still get up a trick room. I'm not sure how that works. Let's see. Solar Beam's coming out early. Oh my lord. Oh my. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Leave my Urshifu alone. Solar Beam comes out here. It's not Stab, but it is super effective. And we are Soul Vested. So, yeah. I was going to say, we should be able to just eat that up just fine. Let's get it. Certain Strikes come out here. And I think we made the right play here. I think we made the right play. Certain Strikes should be able to take this thing out. Triple Crit. Right? Even if... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, my God. This thing eat. He eating good. He's eating good. Like, real good. Triple Crit coming out. Oh, oh my Lord. This thing eating good. All these crits come out, and this thing eats up a berry. Yo, I thought we were going to be able to just dump on that thing with certain strikes. That thing ate it up perfectly. Eats his berry. What comes out here now from Chandelure? And then Prison comes out. Dude! Dude! What you mean? And now we cannot trick him. I knew I should have went for an attacking move. Ah! Uh, definitely another Solar Beam coming out here. Uh, do I even go for another certain strike? Like, who do I go after? I do have to take out this. Hmm. Do I just Dynamax? Nah. I just drop maybe an Expanding Force and double into Chandel. I think Chandel could protect here. No way. He's got to drop like a Shadow Ball or something. Cause he, we know that, that the Solar Beam is just going to come out again. Yeah. Kind of saw that coming. Solar Beam will take us out. E! This one's tough. This one's tough. I feel like I always struggle going up against something. They're so strong. They're just ridiculously strong. I always feel that way. And dude, I thought for sure, I seriously thought for sure that my Urshifu could take out that Chandelure, even through the drought. And I was thinking that the whole time. That ball comes out here. Eee! Leave me alone. Eat it. Ah, Hatterene down for the count. Hatterene is down for the count. 
What you mean? All right, it comes down to my boys, Torkoal and Drapes. Torkoal and Drapes are coming out here. We're going to clutch this one up for you guys. We are going to clutch this one up. Having a tough one right here. Get it. Get it, Torx. Get it. Okay, so what do I think? He's definitely going to start targeting down my uh, Drapion. That's got to be big dog. But um, do I drop Heat Wave? I cannot use Heat Wave. Okay, I have to use Eruption because he imprisoned Heat Wave. I got a Dynamax here. Go for this Max Darkness. Uh, who do I go after? I don't even know who to go after. I said we go after, uh, Chandel. Because what moves is Chandel Allure have? It has Imprison, Trick Room, Shadow Ball, and Heat. Okay. So we know it's moved. It has no protect. It can't protect all the good stuff. So. We're going for it. We're going for it. Come on, Drapes. Let's get you rolling. He has a high crit chance with Sniper and that scope line. So let's see if we get it. I know, I think Cross Poison has a boosted crit chance too. So I think Cross Poison might be 100% crit when using it with the scope lens and sniper ability. I'm not 100% sure though. Heat Wave come out doing some big old damage over here. And the Shadow Ball. Hopefully the Shadow Ball goes towards my Drapion. Or hopefully we, we should just be able to dump this thing out right now. Yeah. Okay, so that thing's gone. Eruption's gonna come out here and do a little bit more damage. And now we can use Heat Wave as well, which is wonderful. Special defense drop there, so Torkoal can do a teensy bit more, but Nine Tails should be able to eat up considering it is fire type. Get it, Torx. Get it, baby. Get it, dude. Do him dirty. Not bad damage, kid. Not bad damage for a tiny little turtle. Uh, he's got to have, uh, I think Leafeon's going to come out here with the chlorophyll action, all that good stuff, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. Or it's going to be Charizard. One or the other. We're kind of screwed here. We're kind of screwed. These are big dogs. Let's see it. Yep, Leafeon does come out here, like I said. And uh, it's going to go for a ground move over my Torkoal. I think it's going to go for a Max Quake, in my opinion. Uh, do I protect? Or do I just go for this Heat Wave? This Heat Wave could be dirty. It's got to have Dig on it, right? I could just get after that. What would I rather go for? Hmm. I think I'd rather protect this turn. Because I seriously think you're going to go for a Quake. I seriously do think this thing is going for a max quake. I just have a feeling about it. Protect comes out here. Oh, he does not Dynamax. He doesn't Dynamax. Don't dig. Don't dig. It dug, dude. It dug. I seriously thought he was Dynamax. And that's why I went after the max ooze on that slot. Oh, and he's going to be able to get off the dig, too. Hypnosis comes out here. We missed. Okay, we get the dodge. Oh, I should have attacked there. Mm, man. The blunder policy comes out here. Oh, you lucky biscuit. He gets the blunder policy. You never see blunder policy. Yo, that's tough. Let me see. What's the blunder policy uh, boost again? Look at that. Yo, boost its speed plus two because it missed. That is tough. I never see that stuff. Uh, I guess we got to go for a heat wave. This is looking bad for us. This one is looking not too good for us. Um, I still think I ooze over on uh, Leafeon because Leafeon is posing the biggest threat. It's not looking good. If we heat wave last turn... We could have been uh, standing a chance because we could have protected this turn. Oh my god, dude. If we heat wave last turn or erupt it, something along those lines, we could have been so good. We could have been looking so good, but he's going to hypnosis me. I know that's a fact. Or he's just going to do it to my Torkoal. Even though Torkoal's probably going to die here to the dig. I think Torkoal dies here to the dig. Let's see, dig. Oh, dig's going after Drapion. Oh, okay. Okay. Things comes out. Get it. Yeah, take out this thing. I don't, I don't know if he's going to take it out now. Yeah, see? That's the only thing, thing that stinks about Max Ooze and Max Knuckle. Like, they give you the attack boost and special attack boost, but they don't really hit too, too hard. They don't really hit too, too hard. They're, like, base 95 power compared to the, like, 120s, 130s, and 140s. And, of course, this thing has a weakness policy trigger. And, no! We we're going to lose battle number two. We kind of saw this one from the beginning. Once we went down our first two, we were like, bruh. Once he imprisoned that trick room, I kind of knew. I was like, dude, he's kind of got me set. He's got the, send, the sun set up, all that good stuff. He still has his Dynamax. And my last option was uh, Dynamax's Drapion. But hopefully Torkoal can wake up. And I can protect. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully we can do him dirty with this. That'd be nasty. Let's see what happens. Here he goes. Now he's going to Dynamax. Now he's going to Dynamax on a Leafeon. That it has the weakness policy trigger. But that doesn't really make sense to me. I thought he was definitely going to... Uh, Dynamax is probably a turn before that. Because usually you want a Dynamax and then soak up the hit because you have more HP. You use the weakness policy and then roll from there. But, you know, this guy's doing it differently. He's doing it differently around these parks. Drapion's going to protect Torkoal. I need you to wake up. That's what I need you to do, Torkoal. I need Drapion to eat up and I need Torx to wake up. Yo, Chlorophyll's coming back out here. Obvious. Let's go. 
Eat this up, Drapion. I know they're going for the Max Queen. We know it's happening. We know it's happening. Eat it up, Drapes. Get his Drapes, yes. Eat it up, Drapes. And Drapes does not eat up. Poo poo. And yeah, we got Merc. We got Merc. We at least picked up a kill. Yeah, we picked up a kill. We didn't get shut out, yo. We don't get shut out around here. So we got that Chandelure out. I know if we Torkoal wakes up and maybe picks up another one. Let's see, Torch. Nope. We're going to keep our turtle alive, though. We are definitely going to keep our turtle alive. We're going to run from this battle, and we're going to be one and one We dominated in the first battle, struggled on this battle, but now we're going to be hopping into battle number three and trying to get ourselves a big, fat winning record. Come on, turtle. You're surviving this one. Come home, buddy. Get back inside this Pokeball. Yo, GG to this guy. Third battle coming at you guys. Can we get the winning record? I hope so. Yo, we're using this Drapion team, and what Drapion reminds me of so much is Gen 4 because it did come out in Gen 4, and I just remember playing it on my DS and seeing Drapion and Scorpy. Just those Pokemon. I don't know, but let me know in the comment section down below who is your favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. Like, I love Empoleon. There's so many good ones. There are so many good ones. Shaman's cool. Get that legendary is amazing. All that good stuff. But definitely let me know in the comment section down below who is your favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. But we have 30 seconds to pick. This guy's got a pretty cool looking team with Incineroar on it. Um, I think we got to roll out Trick Room. Go hard on it. I don't think he has anything to kind of cover the Trick Room. So I think I'm going to lead Porygon too. And then who else do I think he's going to lead? He might lead uh, Lucario. He could lead Lucario. Mm, do I lead Torkoal here? Or, no, I'm going to actually lead Hatterene. Do I even... No, we're going to lead Drapes. We're going to lead Drapes, bring Hatterene, and uh, Torkoal here. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about it, because if I could just get off this trick room, we could be rolling. I got to watch out for that Milotic. The Milotic's kind of a mess, too. You guys already know the whole coil Milotic. That thing was big when Incineroar kind of first came out, because competitive with Tricker. You coil up, and you roll out from there, and then you have Hypnosis on it as well. But that was actually uh, pretty cool in the last battle that the Ninetales had a blunder policy. So when you miss an attack, you get the speed boost, and they used it perfectly. Like, they used it perfectly and missed attack. He wasn't worried about it. Got that speed boost and rolled off from there. Like, you never see blunder policies, which is nuts. He is going to get a nice Intimidate over on my Drapion, which is going to be tough. I might swap out. Um, we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. I do have Cross Poison, which is wonderful. Download's going to come out here. We get that plus one on that attack boost. And then uh, we're going to actually go for the Trick Room. Right off the rip. Trick Room coming out here, and I'm going straight for this Cross Poison. I'm going to get after this. He's definitely going to fake me out, though. Like, that's definitely a fact. So, do I just protect? No, because he, he might just fake out my uh, Porygon, too. Let's see what he does. You know what withdrawal tokens. Okay, I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Lucario comes out. Smart play. Smart swap. Is he going to fake out Porygon? Who, who are you faking out? Fake out comes out. Go ahead, Drapion. Nope. Definitely faking out Porygon, too. Cross Poison comes out here, and it doesn't affect him. Yo, what a play. Nice little play there. Uh, we gotta drop another Trick Room here. And then I can go into... I could go into a Night Slash or another Cross Poison. I think I'm just going into Cross Poison over on the Incineroar side. And seeing how he plays this one out. Let's see what you gonna do, kid. He might Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. Cross Poison comes out with that Sniper ability, all that good stuff. Yo, look at that damage, yo, the crit. I believe it's 100%. I'm not 100% sure, but let me know in the comment section down below if it is, but... Hold the phone. Hold the phone, man. This Lucario just nasty plotted on me. He just nasty plotted on me. This thing just plotted on me. And now he's going to go first. And now, he well, he's going to go second. Hold the phone, man. This is looking a little scary here. Hold the bananas, man. <laughs> oh, no. We got to trick him up. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I just T-Bolt take out Incineroar? He's going to Dynamax. That's a fact. The big fact. Do I taunt him? Or do I get after him? I mean, he's just going to be able to eat. I'm going to see if I can taunt him. Because he, he's going to take out my Drake on this turn, I think. I don't want him going for another nasty bot. Okay, so this might have been a good taunt for us. Actually, he's going to go first, man. I think he's going to plot up again. I think he's going to plot up again. Now we go straight for a focus blast. Okay, I'm cool with it. <gasps> he avoids it. And we can taunt him up here. Okay, so he's not allowed to do that again. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. This thing's scary. This thing is scary. I don't know what to do here. I'm definitely going to drop a T-Bolt on it. Potentially knock off a Focus Sash if he is Sash. And, uh, oh, Dragon Bolt is going to be slowest now. That's actually a big deal. I'll definitely hit this thing with a Thunderbolt. And hopefully it doesn't take out my Drapion and I can get off this nice big Night Slash on this thing. And do some work. And maybe get a crit? Maybe. I know Cross Poison. I'm pretty sure Cross Poison, like I've been saying, is 100%. And I don't think Night Slash is because it doesn't get that extra boost. Vacuum Wave comes out here. He's going to hit me. Porygon eats. That's a tasty snack. Thank you very much. And uh, T-Ball comes out, and Drapion should be able to get off a nice big shot on this, uh, on this what's called as well. 
This Dragapult. Get it, Drapion. Hit that crit, yo. Hit that crit. Did you crit? Did you crit? Yo, I love you, Drapion. I love you, yo. Sniper Drapion coming up big there. Taking out the Pult. Um, this thing right here. I don't know why he plot it. If he's just a physical move. Isn't Vacuum Wave physical? A little confused. Tokus comes out. This gotta be the Dynamax move. Gotta be, right? Because he's already down too. Um, I'm definitely gonna roll out with a, uh, recover? Yeah, I'm gonna recover here. He might vacuum wave and take me out. And I'm definitely hitting this thing with a cross poison. Stab, crit. We are minus one. Vacuum wave comes out. Kind of saw that coming. Take out Porygon. That's fine. I kind of want my Pokemon to go out. So, uh, we saw this trick and roll in here. I get out the other Pokemon. Air Slash is probably gonna take me. We avoided it. We avoid it. Cross poison. Get him. Yeet. Get out my face, yo. Sniper, baby. Sniper Drapion coming up big. Picks up another KO, and he did not Dynamax yet. We, can't, we got this one settled. We got this one pretty much settled up. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, Torkoal. I'm going to definitely bring in Torkoal here. Super effective. I could just Dynamax him. But I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to drop a Eruption. Or Heat Wave should do the job. Heat Wave should do the job. I'm not going to uh, force an Eruption, because he might go first with the Vacuum Wave do damage with me. I'm going to just go for a Heat Wave. Heat wave, oh yeah, into a night slash, oh yeah. You cannot protect even if you have protect because you are taunted, oh yeah. GG, baby, three and one, or not three and one, bruh, three and one. We didn't play four matches, two and one, baby. We get ourselves a winning record, which is awesome. I absolutely love this team. I'm glad we got to show off Drapion in that final battle like that and had this really, really strong first battle. Had a little bit of best of both worlds in today's video, which is awesome. We had a very strong first battle. We dominated, made that dude quit. The second battle, we got absolutely dumpstered on. He almost made me quit. And then in the third battle, we picked up the slack, won, and got ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.